Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we have another Finnish First Division match for ya. Um, if you remember last time, I think it was maybe the time before that I talked about it. Um, I mentioned that we have got a pretty good, pretty favorable schedule uh, through the rest of the season, um, and this is kind of the start of it with FC Jazz here. Um, we are going to go out and be aggressive in this match. Um, I'm going to start off with the 4 one three two three zero and go from there. Um, hopefully we can get a couple of goals. And then we'll just drop back into our other three four two one zero and defend. That's the idea anyway. Um, if it happens, well, that's to be seen, obviously. But, um, you know, here we go. Um... See, I don't really have anything else to keep you, to keep you, uh, to update you on or anything like that. Uh, other than we are without Mika Granholm for this match, he's still recovering from an injury and blah blah blah. blah. Um, but that's about it. Um, yeah, all right. Hopefully, we can kind of get together and put together a good performance here. Um. Yeah, I was uh, doing a little bit of scanning in between the last match and this, um, looking for, uh, you know, defenders <laughs> that we so desperately need. And kind of doing a little survey of what we need and, you know, why, we, uh, why we're not very good defensively. And a lot of it, in on all honesty, is probably because of our aging defenders. I mean, we have a lot of guys that are on the down end, the down slope, really. Um, oh, Jesus. See, I don't know. I, I've been seeing this a lot lately too. If you if you noticed in that that um, that set piece, we had two guys on the post. For whatever reason, the game started doing that. I don't I don't I don't know how to stop it from doing that. In all honesty, it's not part of my my setup for defending free kicks or anything like that. And I've seen it happen a couple times, and they obviously because you know, with everyone being farther up here forming the wall, then you get the guys on the goal line players can stand in behind the ball and stand back or stand behind the wall and stand down here and not be off sides that's a problem um it's almost cost me a couple times but um like i said i don't know how to stop that that just kind of happened started happening all of a sudden on both games this one and the last one i was like what the hell or not just this one but my other my normal my my i should say not my normal but my my uh, main file that I, that I play this game on very, very frequently. But, um, yeah, we do have a Stasila back there playing over here. Um, the idea is because, obviously, we have Grand Home out. I would start... Ooh! I thought that was... Mm, thought we had a chance at that. But, um, the idea is to have, um, is, is to move into the other formation later and, and kind of go from there. Um, obviously, if we've been able to square up a goal or two um then obviously stats will be in a much better winger position than sitting back there defending but it's kind of the nature of what we have to do right now because of our um lack of depth out there really um but it is what it is and hopefully you know like i said between this season and next and but oh my Allah. and that i was um, but since we're playing in our in our normal more see see what I mean see see that guy right there that was standing right here completely unmarked and completely off so, or on side because of the way that is I don't know what the fucking deal is with that I need to go I I mean I that just started happening all of a sudden like it wasn't happening and then like the last month or so since I've been playing this game or you know while I've been playing this game in the last month it's it's kind of been doing that. And it, it irritates the hell out of me. For obvious reasons, because, I mean, if you can't figure out how to defend that guy specifically, you know, or at least defend from that happening, he, you have a guy who has a wide open shot at, you know, goal. And completely unmarked. I mean, if the ball drops to him in any way, shape, or form, you know, that's that's almost guaranteed. So clearly we can't have that happening. But any, hey, look at that. They turned the ball over. That's awesome. Thanks a lot for that, buddy. Um... This has been a quick first half. Shit, we're already 35 minutes into it. <laughs> Obviously not a whole lot is going on. Um, oh, jeez. 
Um, I have been toying with the idea of, of signing another goalkeeper, but I haven't really, I haven't really followed that through, um, yet. Just because I just, I just haven't, I mean, you know, we don't have a whole lot of money, um, for our payroll until probably the end of the season we'll be able to free up a little room. So I'm hoping that, you know, we'll have some, we'll have a chance to, to, really move some players, especially obviously like I said, a defender. We need a defender desperately. Not just a you know, makeshift defender like Haglum, but you know, a legit you know legit younger defenders that are obviously, you know, good. So like I said, well we'll clearly be looking at that because I think midfield wise, oh Jesus Christ. I think midfield wise we're we're pretty we're pretty well stacked. I think we got a good a lot of players that can kind of interchange and Honestly, the wing positions aren't too bad either. I mean, our, our wing players could be better, but I mean, if one if one presents itself, that's great. If not, the hell, nobody wanted to take take charge and go after that. This has been a pretty bad first half for us. I mean, no, Jesus, come on! Don't don't stand there in the corner like a dummy. Jesus, see that's what. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, I really don't have anything else to, to really uh, talk about other than, oh boy, I, eh, I don't know, I, li I like this formation when it works and when, when we're attacking, I mean, obviously it gives us a really good, a good amount of possession, I mean, we have 60% of the ball so far in the first half, but, um, once again, like I said before, the, the, the good thing about the other 3 4 2 one, zero that we have is is we can we can switch things up. You know, I mean obviously if we get a goal here we can, you know, change things around so that we can actually hold on to that instead of letting the play remain relatively open like it is with this this formation. Thanks to Haglum for winning the ball back there. That was nice. That's good to see. That was very open. Um, we do, I want to say we do at least need, we at least need one substitution because we have to actually take an attacking player off if we are going to switch our formation. So I don't want to make changes quite yet, although I can see some players obviously aren't, you know. Oh, Jesus. Well, at least we got a decent shot on goal there. And now our ever impotent. Oh my god, I thought Bryson was going to score there. This is a rather impotent <laughs> set pieces. Well, that mostly, I, I think that has a lot to do with the nature of our, not nature of our players, but like the, the fact that we don't really have any giant aerial players. I mean, we don't have any big aerial minded players. I don't really minded, but. Just good players that are, you know, players that are really good in the air. I think that's one of the things that we're really lacking. Um, obviously, with our aging defenders, I mean, like I said, their their stats start to decline as they get older. Hinkle is, I think, the youngest one we got out there, and that's why he's out there. He's not great, not too terrible, but at the same time, I mean, he's probably the best option that we have. And at least we're really getting some corners here. We're actually taking it to him. It appears our team talk so far through the first two and a half minutes has actually worked. That's, ooh, Hinkle made a hell of a run there. Hmm. I do need to change a couple things. I have had a little bit more success um, scoring set pieces on my Galway file. Um, mostly because I changed things and actually overloaded the, um, the corners a little bit. Not too much so. But, I mean, I, I changed things so that I have... Um, Players, you know, two players coming on for the near, well, one on the near post and one for a flick on. And then, of course, one on the uh, far post and one on the goalkeeper to kind of keep the keeper occupied, theoretically. But, um, you know, that has seemingly yielded a few, um, a little bit better, a little bit better results. And I can tell you right now that I haven't updated this set piece because I, I don't see that player coming over for the flick on. I only see one player coming to the near post every time, so um, probably would be a good idea to do that with Hagblum, considering Hagblum's probably our best aerial player. Um, 
but that's yeah that's that's about it we do have ktp losing to yippo right now that's good oh please oh my god for a second i thought monsalvo was gonna just let that go and let a defender play that which is not what we wanted him to do now what we wanted him okay come on staff so you got all sorts of room over there you're a winger for the love of god there we go Look at you finding out how to pass the ball and shit. Oh, look at that. It fell right to Ose. Who now can't seem to get his boots straight here. I think I'm going to take off on all. Or Ose. Ose doesn't seem to be playing too well right now. Which is unfortunate. He, that he seems really out of sorts because this is really a position that he should be taking advantage of. At least in my opinion. I mean, he's got the skill set to be much more of an attacking player and be much more effective and we're really only one time and shoot there we go mm. of course yeah so yeah I mean Quincy Ose has only had two goals I mean I, I understand that we kind of changed this formation and changed to another formation as well halfway through the season but you know, like I said I, I hope to get him kind of rolling because I think he can be a pretty good attacking threat like I said if you look at his, his attribute distribution he's He's got a pretty good set of skills, a pretty good skill set for us um, and the formations that we use. And in truth, this is going to be one of those skill sets that we kind of look for. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, that, if you haven't noticed already that we're going to need a lot of midfielders. I mean, that's probably going to be the position that we we're overloaded on the most. Obviously, now we're not going to have any out-and-out -out strikers. God damn it. I don't have anyone to put out there for that position. I mean, you already have Gron. <laughs> you already have Gronholm injured. Last thing we need is another our substitute to get injured. But um, uh, I don't. I don't know if I trust Nisikongas out there yet. Ooh, I know what I can do though. I know what I can do, and I think I'm gonna do it. Are you ready for this? We have the goal. We have the goal. So we are going to switch into this formation. I'm going to take... Should I take a Wusu off? That's probably the best I'd best, the best option that I have here. I'm going to take Renz off. Because he's fucking hurt. Um, actually, I'm going to put him up there. Riala here. Ose up there. Switch these two, let them kind of do their thing. Hagblom and Harala. Mm, yeah, I think I think we'll do that. And then... Uh, shit. No, wait. I got this. <laughs> Had to think there for a minute. I'm like, wait, we don't have anybody to put out there. But we'll put on Nermela for Owusu. In that, that position right there. That should be a little bit better. So we make two substitutions right here, and we'll drop Ramasaho in there. He's not a terrible, terrible wing back, but... And now, unfortunately, this isn't what I wanted to do. This I wanted to continue, since we had the momentum, I wanted to continue with it. And just continue piling on purchase if we could get another one. And then maybe around the 70th, um, you know, maybe a little bit later. You know, 70th, 75th minute, you know, switch to this formation. Um, because they're not... They're not quite familiar with this formation quite yet. See, so there you go. Make the simple pass, Hagman. You got Harala. There you go. There's easy passes to be made. Mm. Ooh, even better. There you go. Look at that. Those are two wingbacks right there combining for the goal. Very nice to see that shit. Very nice to see that shit. Now, see, as I said before, this formation does not necessarily create a ton of chances. But the chances that it creates, like that chance right there, that's a clear-cut chance. That's a very good chance. Um, and you got to convert on that. You know, with, with those chances, since you don't get very many with this formation, you got to convert in the ones you get. Um, and that that's where you need not just good midfielders and wingbacks, but you need guys with finishing. And I think that's one of the things that um, can really slow you down if, you, if you're trying to use a formation like this. Especially like a a, a, a strikerless formation because you don't have guys that are out and out strikers. You don't have guys that are out and out finishers. So I mean, sometimes you'll have guys that that play in midfield who can really finish, but most often you won't. 
And I mean, that, and also it depends on what positions they're getting in. You know, those clear cut chances like that, those are the positions where finishing is important, obviously, because, you know, like I said, with this formation, you don't get very many chances. But the chances you do get, you gotta finish off. So and now you got Oyala. Oof. I thought he was gonna go out to run Masaho again. That's where Murado Nal's pace let him down there. He was in a good position in behind the defenders and unable to, to finish the run. But we got the two goal lead that we wanted. Um that's that's what's important. Now we have now we can really let me see, yeah, I don't like this. I'm getting complacent here. Yeah, it irritates the shit out of me. We don't have much room to fuck up, <laughs> in all honesty. You know, when you look at when you look at you know how close the top of the table is together. I said that a few times before. We got FC Hawk KTB, which has taken a step back today so far against Yippo, which is good. Good for us. And we can we can hopefully take a take a step. Ooh, nice. Well done, Hero. Nice job to pick that off and take it away from. Him. And, and like I said before, I, I think we really geared ourselves unknowingly really well for the formations that we're going to be using. Um, and on this, uh, on this, uh, well, I, I guess in this campaign, I guess, yeah. It's, oh, jeez, see, terrible defending, too late, and then nobody can get to the fucking wall. Yeah. Yeah, just don't give up another one with the last fucking... 10 minutes remaining here. That's all that matters now, right? And that right there, like, like he, I mean, I don't know. It's, you saw the, I think that was Hinkula who kind of fucked that up. Not very good, assertive, defending, and good passing though. We're starting to understand how, where we're supposed to go with the ball. Oh, oh no, oh no. That was, Ooh, ooh, ooh. I am excited. I think I said this before. I am excited to have Ayala back. He's a he's a player who will probably stay here for quite some time. And will not be will not be going out alone again. Um like I said that was something that was in place when we started the file. That was something that the PC did before. Because I think if I remember right this I have the save file starting in the spring because the teams that I typically play are um summer playing teams, teams that play through the summer and take the winners off, mostly because they're Scandinavian and they have a lot of fucking snow and shit, I guess. I mean, that's, that's my, that's my understanding there. But, um, uh, which means then the game had technically six months almost to, to kind of play before we, uh, took charge here and then we actually started. See, there's Hagblum coming over and covering there. That's good stuff. Oh, my. Really spread the defense out here with oh jeez, with the wingers and oh my god Ramasaho if somebody was just inside the box. Ooh, good run though. That was good stuff. I like I like to see shit like that. I mean, take that chance if it's just a one on one opportunity like that. You know, running down the ball. I, I like that. You know, obviously yeah, no one was there. Wow, they took forever to blow that fucking whistle. Holy shit. It's like they had a conference about it and thought. Man, was he? I don't know. Maybe we'll call it. We'll see if he gets into a position to maybe score. Fuck. That was a bit irritating. I have noticed that on this game a few times. They they do have some of the the realistic uh, late whistles like that that are kind of <laughs> a bit infuriating. You're like, Jesus, dude. Can somebody just... Ooh, he had... Oh, nice. That's one too, though. I think he's outside. No, you're not gonna call it. Oh, that's nice. Good, good stuff. Like I said, now they're starting to kind of catch on and they're getting in the right positions. But that's also where the right team talk kind of lit a fire under their ass, and now they're actually putting some effort into what they're doing offensively. And then hopefully that you know, mm. nice little interception there. Ah, oh, held the ball too long. Well, at least they sent it out. Don't have a, don't have much left for them to to really grasp onto. But it's, it is what it is. We should have a lot more shots on goal, obviously. But we had to change into this, and that's like I said, that's where you don't get as many chances. 
you get good chances with this formation, but you just don't generate a whole lot of goal or a whole lot of shots on goal. And the ones you do, you know, generate are typically pretty good. Like, you know, chances like that, it's, you know, oh. Continuing to hold the ball down here. It looks like this is, uh, as long as there's no, you know, fifth minute extra time or injury time goal, which I have seen before on this game. That pissed me off once. I had a, they had three minutes of uh, injury time and it extended into like five minutes and the opposing team scored. I was up one nothing. I was pissed. It's like, are you fucking serious? That's, that's absolutely infuriating, mind you. But anyhow, um... 2-1 victory. I'm okay with that. I mean, I would have loved to have kept a clean sheet. I like getting the two goals instead of one. That's that's nice. But I like this. Yeah, I, I'm okay. I'm a, a demotivated. You little shithead. But anyhow. Um, well, you see that staff solo with the two assists? Yeah. Mm, he might he might end up winning that left wing left left back spot. Honestly. I mean, if he's if he's going to be generating offense back there in terms of, you know, obviously assists, shit like that. And look at that. We have a two-goal, two-goal, two-point lead at the top. That's awesome. That's good. That's very good. But anyway, um, yeah, I mean, it's, that, that might be, we might we might end up starting staff slow there in the next match. But anyhow, if you made it this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching. And remember, the ghost key is the only place where pants are optional.